Rays of Sunshine, it's Evelina of Evergreen Art Dolls and today I have a very fun unboxing from eBay. So it's a pretty, pretty good size box, not too small and I'm really excited about it because it's my first cloth doll in a very long time, definitely since I've moved into my new house. But this was honestly one of those like sort of late night um, splurge purchases that us doll collectors have. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And, um, but yeah, so anyways, this popped up on there and I just could not resist. I was actually looking for a Betty Boop doll just to see what was out there and available because I had an idea for a custom doll that I want to um, put together that is Betty Boop themed and she actually popped up for me and I have a thing for cloth dolls you guys and I missed out on a doll like this a while ago like it's been years ago when I first started doll collecting uh, cloth dolls so I um I could not pass up the opportunity this time so let's go ahead and get into this box and see what we have so first things first I love this stuff for repackaging my dolls so definitely recycling that and she included some extras this seller was really great she messaged me right after I purchased the doll to let me know that she was not in pristine condition which I already knew um, this is a vintage Americana style cloth doll and yeah so she messaged me to let me know and just was really sweet really nice like when we talked in the messages and so she included some extras because since the doll wasn't like in the best shape when she found her so <laughs> this is so cute it says I regret nothing with sunglasses this little pouch I love pouches like this oh my goodness you guys she is so generous check this out oh i love this and have never seen this betty boop like image like art before like check that out can you guys see it that good i'll put um pictures and stuff at the end or i'll probably insert a video clip of everything close up so you can see the details but this is so cute it has a little puppy right here and it's perfect for summer she has the lays around her neck in pink my favorite color so cute that is adorable oh my goodness and it says beautiful right there oh this is so cute Oh, definitely using that. That's probably going to go on my house keys, honestly. Oh my goodness, you guys. Betty Boop pins. Yes, I use pins all the time. And the fact that they're Betty Boop and pink. I love that so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for these extras. And I'm not done yet. Looks like it's a few more things in here. Oh, I have to use this in my car. Look, an air freshener. And it's so cute. It has her puppy. It's like she knew me. Like, I don't know this seller. I did tell her, like, my favorite color was pink. And she went, like, she's just been so generous. Like, this is adorable. <laughs> like, I'm a dog lover. So, this is just perfect. And, like I said, with the keychain, I've never seen, um, like, you don't see this type of, like, illustration or art of Betty often i feel like like you you see her typically like in her red dress and um but yeah you don't really see her in different like she has a yellow dress on here like in different uh colors and stuff and with her puppy love that and then we have okay so the last thing is just little cute coin purse so we have a really pretty little coin purse and you guys make sure to check her shop out i will be linking that in the description and putting it here in the video as well but she has um, a bunch of betty boop stuff she has a few other vintage items but um, a ton of betty boop items that she likes to list in her shop and um yeah they're all so great but yeah, this one still has its tag on. So cute. I'll definitely pop that in my purse. And she's winking, so that's super sweet. And then um, I will be reusing this as well. So I love all these extras. I'm most excited about this keychain, though. I think I just love it. It's so cute. But yeah, so I will be using all of that. And then this freshener for my car. I'm, after this video, I'm going to go put that in there right away. So... Great, okay, now to the main event, this doll. All right, so let's take her out and then we'll talk about her um, a little bit more. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. 
Oh, she is so cool, you guys. Okay. So, everything else is just some bubble wrap stuff that I will reuse. But here she is. Check her out. So, I, um, so yeah, like I said, I was looking for, like, an articulated Betty Boop doll. And then this girl came up and i am so thrilled to have her she's supposed to be 14 inches she looks a little bit smaller than i anticipated but i like that because i honestly should not be adding like really big dolls to my collection because of space um restraints but i think i'm honestly i don't have any dolls really displayed um like in view anymore like in my new workspace area like i just rather have them kind of up, up so they're away from dust and get them out you know whenever i want to play with them or just um you know show them off or whatnot but i think i might display her like in here like i don't know she just she kind of fits the vibe and she looks like betty boop to me you guys and the seller sells a lot of betty boop stuff she had this in here because she said in the description in her listing that she looks like betty and she really does and i mean i don't know who the doll maker was that may if she was really going for a betty boop look it really looks like it because she has um these cute little red lips and these um hooped earrings and just the general shape of her face kind of looks like betty so um i think that's probably what the doll maker was going for but either way she is a beautiful doll um i love her vintage i really like vintage dolls as well i love her, the vintage fabric that was used for her dress and it's in my other favorite color green so that's perfect i love her head wrap i think it's just so unique and cool it has stripes on it and this black black fabric that she used and she's super well stuffed so this was the imperfection that the seller told me about um that when she took her out of like storage or wherever she had her she had a little bit of like um stuffing that was coming out of these um little areas here they're super tiny so you can't even really see them um where she has a tape um at here but that's not a big issue um I have some basic sewing skills. I could probably sew that back up or give it to my mom who sews better than I do and um, for her to patch that up a little bit. But it's super tiny. Um, let's check her out underneath. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so her body. So we have the really black like fabric body here and she feels like even though she's firm and not necessarily like plushy she just feels good like I don't know like good to the touch like I just really firm but also like the fabric is just really really nice really well stuffed um she has these um her limbs and her head is with that black fabric but then her torso has like a blue it's like a blue fabric and then she has little sort of undies that are attached to the dress, I think. Yep, so it's attached to the dress. Um, just a little undergarment there. Um, but yeah, I really like these sleeves too. I'm going to get them to kind of stay down. But yeah, and the hoop earrings. Her ear is barely hanging on, but I think that adds some character to her. But just so I don't end up losing that, we probably need to um stitch that back up but yeah she has a sideways glance like betty usually has let's see if i can get one of let's see but yeah that sideways glance and the little red lips yeah i think the doll maker was going for a betty boop look with her for sure but just the fact that it's in this vintage um style and this like folkloric americana type rag doll. I was a huge Betty Boop fan when I was younger. Still am as an adult. Like I have a bunch of Betty Boop shirts and jewelry and yeah I like to accessorize with her whenever I can. That's why I'm so glad I have those pins and like um car like air fresheners and keychains and stuff like that. I still really love but yeah when I was younger I had my whole room like when girls would have like the boy bands and stuff on their walls. I had Betty Boop everywhere. I decorated my whole room Betty Boop i had the comforter sheets the curtains all of that um yeah i don't know it's something so cute about betty like um they say that she's like cute and sexy all at the same time and i just really like that about her she's a really cool 
um she's just so cute so yeah i just really love betty and the fact that i have a doll now that sort of looks like her but still has that vintage feel that i like and this like in this like cloth rag doll form i just love it it's, yeah she's she's just super cute you guys let me know what you think of her in the comments and if you like collect vintage dolls or anything um but yeah i just could not pass her up she was a little over my dolly budget but like i said i lost out to one a doll that was similar to this before on ebay she was a little bit more floppy but she had like a red dress and she kind of had this sort of face shape as well that reminded me of betty boop and um yeah i missed out on her years ago so when she came up and she had this cute little green outfit i was like yeah i just had to jump on it the only thing that i would like like added to this doll is jointing like i wish i could like display her sitting down like i wish she had joints like maybe in her arms and just her legs so that she could like sit on a shelf but i will have to find a doll stand for her so she can stand up but she'll still look really cute like that as well something a little different than just a doll sitting on the shelf so um it's fine but yeah i just am so glad that i have her in my collection she's so so cute but yeah you guys let me know what you think of her in the comments Thank you so much to the seller for allowing me to purchase her and posting her online. And I really, really appreciate all the extras. Like, I love these so, so much. I definitely will be giving her shop a visit in the near future. And you guys check out her shop as well. Like I said, I will link that in the description of this video. Yeah, so you guys who aren't subscribed, make sure to go ahead and do that if you like Betty Boop as much as I do because I will be coming out with another video hopefully soon when I find or get the perfect customized Betty Boop to add to my collection because I don't have a Betty Boop like doll I have a baby doll that I will show later on in that video but I don't have like a Betty Boop like a articulated doll and that's something that I am looking to do but yeah I'm really happy that I was able to add this doll to my collection thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you guys soon peace love and blessings bye